So we here at uh, Novacut. This is your office here at Yenaha <laughs> Connect. So uh, what is Novacut? So um, it's two things. We're building a collaborative video editor, um, basically Google Docs for video editing. Um, and our focus is you know, low cost professional storytelling, so like web series, um, movies, anything that's you know, taking advantage of these cheap, um, relatively cheap HDSLR cameras. Um, and then the other side of it is uh, an entertainment platform, and that's where our business model is. So when you know, artists that publish through us make money, we take a cut, and the editor and the tools are just a way to build relationships with artists and you know, help them get to market faster and cheaper. So this is Ubuntu powered yes. video editing? Yes. Ubuntu only? At, at this point, yes. A any Linux or just Ubuntu? Well, it, no, it should work on any Linux. Um, so we just have unofficial packages that we maintain. And you know, we only have time to do Ubuntu. And realistically, in terms of who our target users are, like they're going to be using Ubuntu um, because they're going to be coming from, from Mac. Um, but yeah, there's no reason it shouldn't run on, on the distro. So. So are you the three founders, or? Um, well, I'm, I'm one of the founders. Um, and then these two are the, uh, the shortly after the founding um, came <laughs> on board. So since when uh, are you the team like this? Um, December 2010? Yeah. December 2010. And so what have you been doing since then? Lots of coding. <laughs> Lots of coding? How, many, how much code? Um, Right now, we're at about 55,000 lines. So it works, or is it still a prototype? Or It, it works. Um, it's not quite ready um, you know, for like everyday use, but it's getting very close. So um, in the interview we just shot, we shot on a, a 5D Mark II, a 7D, and then we did audio on a, a Zoom H4n. And this is very much like the standard recipe for these low-cost productions. And what I have open here is um, called D-Media. And I can show you our NGS workflow. So start the importer, pick a project, you know, get those cards. All right. So you take the cards, the memory cards. Yep. And they're there with the video on. Yep. Yeah, so this is got everything we just shot. Yeah. You know, two camera angles and audio. And all you do is just shove them in. And stuff happens? Yep. And it's all hands free. Um, yeah. You can see you there. So this is going to be 11 gigabytes just at interview? Yep. Yep. And, and this is part of the reason why um, Ubuntu is such a good choice because. Uh, professional video editing, it's, it's really a, a data problem um, more than anything else um, because especially with multicam and, and these cameras actually are pretty low bit rate compared to, to some out there. So um, you really need a, an OS that has kind of its roots in the server because it's a, it's a little big data problem. So um, what happens after it's imported? So um, as it's importing it, all, each file is being copied onto each of these one terabyte drives. And like this week, we'll, we'll almost fill these drives. Um, at, at UDS two weeks ago, we shot about 820 gigs. And um, how many interviews was that? Uh, I don't know. Qu qu quite a few interviews. And then it was um, sessions at the Ubuntu Cloud Summit. So uh, a lot of data builds up very quickly. So you put a maximum bitrate setting in here? Um, it's actually not even variable on these. But they're about 50 megabits a second. 50 megabits per second yeah. each? Yeah. Each. And the audio, some kind of uncompressed audio? Yeah, yeah. yeah standard wave 48 kilohertz uh, usually. Yeah, 24 bit. So is your goal to be um, better than Final Cut or yes. totally different than, uh, how is it? Better Everybody's going to use it. Um, so the, you know, the first place we started was on this file management problem. So one of the things that DMedia can do which we'll show in a second after this is done, um, is work seamlessly across multiple computers. Um, so it's, it's really common that if we were here this week, we'd each go home with a copy of the footage. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll each go home with a hard drive. And then 
after that, the media knows what files are which even across, you know, whatever. Um, so that means uh, that, you know, having filmed all of this together, we can each, uh, you know, uh, work on our editing and all of that, uh, you know, apart without having to, say, transfer, you know, 820 gigabytes across the network. And D Media is smart enough that, you know, while, while you could do the whole transferring, you know, over the network, uh, it is designed to handle things like, you know, transferring hard drives and things like that just as well. All right, so this is the uh, first, the best uh, uh, video collaboration editing system? Um, yeah, no one else. Uh, no one else can do quite what we can right now. Um, so one of the things that's unique is even though we can harness the cloud, it's actually a native application that works offline, which for pro video is, is really critical because you know you, you can't you know we don't have to wait to upload 11 gigs just to see what we've got. Um, but we can can utilize the cloud and we can do real time collaborative editing. Um, so like like Google Docs for for video. So you do uh, sh uh, collaboration on the metadata yes. is being shared over the internet, yes. which is the t timeline info and all that stuff. Yep, yep. And, and, and it's it's tiny, you know. I mean, it's like uh, co compared comparable to like SMS or something, you know. So there is uh, finishing that import, and the interview was like uh, ten minutes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So when it, once it's finished, what happens then? So, a moment. Um, so it's going to format the cards, and there's a little notification just pops up. So now all these cards are empty. Um, so you can grab them and throw them in the camera without doing, any, without doing anything else. Auto formatted? Yep. And, and still importing or is it done now? Nope, it's, it's done. done. It's done. So what's the next step? So now we can fire up NovaCut and oops. so there's video. some NVIDIA driver problems on this that it might flick out, but. All right. So there's a start and end or something like that? Yeah, so um, you can pick the, oops, that's the NVIDIA, NVIDIA problem I was talking about. Might be easy to show some of the stuff yep. on this other computer, but. So at which point uh, can you show off the carburation? Um, right now, so. Yeah, if, right. Um, Shall I take one of these hard drives? Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll take one of the hard drives, and when we plug it in over there, are they both on the internet? Um, yep. So the metadata is being synced over Wi-Fi right now. Just over the web, not Wi-Fi direct or anything. Um, uh, it's actually local local, local? sync. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's an important use case because we want all this stuff to work when you don't have internet. Okay. Um, so it's kind of the idea is like harness the cloud when it helps solve the problem better but never depend on it because then you have to have internet to do anything. Okay. So you clicked over there. Is it already there or not yet? It's already here. It's, it's already there. here. And if I move this over here or if Jason moves stuff over there, it'll, it will update here. So let's try again. So you are not touching. Yeah. You're moving stuff around. What's the, what's the delay? Is there um, any? There's a bit of delay. It's it's actually to uh, reduce the amount that's being written to disk. It's kind of a hack right now that will improve, but um, it, it's you know less than a second. And like uh, if we adjust these starting and ending frames, oops. so I'm, let's see how I'm. So this is starting and ending frame here. Yeah. And uh, to do the editing, you would. Uh we bring more clips onto the timeline here. And the actual use case, you wouldn't be working on the same part of the film at the same time, but here we can work on the same parts and we can be adjusting. 
or you'd be looking at it. So that yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so um, for instance, uh, why don't you put together a bit of a timeline, and uh, then you know I'll uh, be looking at it uh, over here, and uh, so I'll see what you're doing. Okay. So you're shortening that up. Do you have some tools as well to sync up the and, two cameras and, and stuff? Uh, that, that's coming soon, so um, multicam and um, audio are the next things that will be coming as oh. far as features. All right, so you've made some edits? Okay, so I'm looking at this, and I think that perhaps maybe we want this clip to be a little bit shorter. What do you think? Uh, Is that a little bit better, you think? Sounds ah. reasonable. Okay, uh, well, a as a director here, um, I'm thinking maybe we want to reorder our film here a little. And what do you think of that ordering? I don't like it, so... Um, okay, uh... I get back. All right, yeah, I think you're right. All right, so... So what's the next steps? What do you still need uh, in the software? Um, like I said, so uh, multicam and our audio features are the next big thing. So this view here is what we call our storyboard, and it's focused on video cutting. Um, but then we'll also have a traditional timeline view, and that's where we're going to do any audio work, um, and you'll be able to flip back and forth between seeing it as a storyboard or a timeline, just depending on what's fastest for what you're doing. Is that something you know how to do? Um, or you have to discover some new tricks? Or Oh, no, that, that's, that's straightforward. Yeah. Straightforward. Yeah. You know exactly what your roadmap is, is from now on? Uh, f well, for those features, we do. I mean, I, uh, farther into the future, you know, we're constantly, you know, checking our decisions with, with our, our target users. So, you know, we talk to artists constantly and, you know, sometimes we try and experiment and it's not the right thing to do. We get feedback and it's not the right, you know, it didn't turn out right. And sometimes we get feedback and it's like, okay, we're, we're on the right track there. So we, we try to, you know, take these little baby steps and then vet the design and, you know, make little corrections and so we don't want to get too far off track ever. So do you have other people testing the software right now? Yes. How many people are trying it? Um, at this point, there's maybe it's a handful of filmmakers. Yeah, a few filmmakers, and it, it, there's definitely people in the open source community that are playing with it. I mean, we don't know the exact numbers, but the, you getting comments? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You get lots of feature requests. Yes, um, but I think you know. So one of the things that's been a bit difficult to manage. Well, no, no not difficult, but it just. Well, I, I think uh, as far as our um, target users are concerned is that it's it's really not about so much you know we need tons and tons of features it's about we want the features that we do need to work really really well to to help us uh, edit faster and and just not get in the way um, you, you know it's, some you know casual users especially you know want to like oh I want you know some more star transitions or whatnot yeah, um, yeah. And you know we sometimes get you know feature requests like that, but uh, generally it's we want uh, our tools to help us work quicker. So how soon is it ready? Um, it's always hard to say. You know it depends on what your needs are. So like right now you can cut something with it and render it without audio. So if you want to make a, a artsy silent film, you can do that right now. Um, the the multicam is definitely needed to be practical, and then the the next thing in terms of actually publishing content um, is at least basic color correction. Um, and at that point, you know, you can make a web series with it. And this is going to be the video editor for the nukes? Um, we think it's going to be the video editor for professionals. I mean, it, it, it could be the video editor for Hollywood. Hollywood and independents? Yep. Yes. And uh, also enthusiasts? Uh, definitely, definitely. And it's, you know, it's free and... Um, and an interesting thing about Hollywood is editing in, in the Hollywood sense is just video cutting. Like they actually aren't, aren't a very demanding user. They don't even render with their video editor. Um, you know, they export an EDL and then for every other little step, it's um, different tools, different people usually. So, you know, in terms of our focus on just being a cutting tool, we're actually not that far away from being something that Hollywood could use. And uh, so you, you won at, uh, you got a successful project on Kickstarter? Yeah. Are you hiring? Or you can do everything you, by yourself? Well, um, we'd have, 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 have money to pay people to get serious about hiring. <laughs> um, 
but you know, obviously in the future, like we, this is going to take a, a team of full-time developers to really turn into what we want it to be. So, um, we'll cool. get to that point. <laughs>